Okay, now Chelsea's laying in the hammock. As you know, the hammock material is very thin. But what's going on here is as she's laying here, her body is in direct contact with the material. Now, if I lay my hand up there, I feel the heat of her body. It's transferring directly through the material of the hammock, just straight through it. As it does, the curve of the hammock makes the heat flow uphill like this, causing a draft. This pulls more heat away, and as the heat increases, it actually accelerates it. So you're losing more and more and more heat this way. That's the reason when you're in a hammock in its summertime, it's very cool to lay in it, because again, it's doing that draft. In the winter, you feel very cold in it. But we can utilize this heat that's made the transition out here. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'll put something inside the hammock. Well, the problem with that is you're laying on it and it compresses it flat. And again, you're in direct contact. There's no dead air space to trap it. So I want to put something out here on the outside to catch it. And that's where we get the under quilts and the under blankets and etc. The object of the game here is as this heat is being produced, and there's quite a bit of heat coming through, it's going to be captured, caught, trapped. So it's holding it against me, reflected back toward me and thus I'm making an envelope of warmth around me. Once I've got this underneath me secured, if I've got a breeze or whatever, I want my outer layer to be something that's sort of like a windbreaker, that the air's not gonna go through. So I want fluffy, you know, like downy, something that's gonna trap the heat next to me, not blood tight, but up against me. So there are little air pockets all along in here. I want those to be captured. And then I don't want any wind blowing through to blow it away. So I want my outer layer to be something that's kind of wind resistant to keep from blowing away. If I do this, I'm a lot warmer in a hammock. In fact, I'm too warm, easy to become too warm in a hammock, depending on how many layers I put out here. Now, an old rule of thumb for camping on the ground was two thirds underneath you, one third on top. In a hammock, it's 50-50. As much insulation on top as I've got underneath me. That's what I do so, with it. The hammock can be used in the winter, but you've got to understand the dynamic of it. You've got to create a 50% more heat retention underneath. I've got to capture it and hold it in place. On top of me now, I need something to trap and hold the heat. Someone's making faces at me from behind the camera. Totally am. So, by doing it that way, I can use a hammock. Now, I like what I used up there in Ohio was I used the one wind hammock and then the quilt and the under quilt with it. And then on top of me, I had my MS sleep system, the black sleeping bag and the Gore-Tex cover. I stuck my feet into it by laying down, put my feet into the bag, stretch out, and then I pulled the bag up over me and I tucked it in on the sides. That produced lots of dead air space. And I was extremely warm. I was absolutely warm in the teens like that because I had the insulation below and I had an insulation over me. And then I took the top of the sleeping bag and pulled up and tucked behind my head. Remember I told you about, the head is a big no-no. I lose too much heat. So I was wearing a big knitted toboggan, very thick, very stupid looking, but very warm over the top of me. And that made the difference. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. And until next time, I'm Blackie for Shaman Forge Bushcraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day. Quit. <laughs>